the adventures of Avi, Kogo, and Arlana. Um, so this is our D&D campaign that's been running on for a while, so we're about to pick it back up, and here's the DM for more info. Evening, everybody. It is, uh, once again, I, Miro Raven, your uh, DM for the evening. Uh, much like Kogo just said, we are getting back into the Lost Seas game of D&D with friends. Uh, we have one player who may be joining in a little bit later, uh, the good doctor. Uh, until then, I have been given permission to do minor things with his character, which means no, rest of the party, we're not killing him just yet. Well, I wasn't really Aww, planning on killing him, to be fair. Just, <laughs> but I've been just really good. Just give him a very rude awakening, that's for sure. Okay, to catch everybody up, what happened last time is they made contact with the, uh, with the halflings. Kogo, being the only individual that was awake that could speak to halflings, temporarily had a position of power which she did not abuse, but did abuse all of the catchphrases that halflings have, making the DM actually look them back up again. Uh, they took a job from the halflings to try to help them uh, by investigating the burrow or barrow that was off to the east of the fallen city of Ankhurst. Uh, they went in, they started fighting what seemed like undead and seemed to clear them out pretty quick. Avi even made a comment upon that, and much like to his chagrin of every you know, horror movie character ever, was bit immediately and contracted a disease. And that is where we pick back up the party taking Avi to get himself cured. At this point, is Avi able to, like, walk on his own, or does he, like, need some help? I would say that Avi can walk. Kogo's going to be kind of like lumbering behind him. Kogo has papoose if you need. That is, th thank you. No, I, I, I do believe that I am, I am fine. But if necessary, I, I will. If, if I fall, then put me in it. But I should be fine. Okay, my friend. Just checking. <laughs> So are y'all making your way back into the halfling encampment? Yes. Okay, that would be to your south. Can everybody move their tokens? I can. Yeah, you're like sprinting across the map. Good board. <laughs> <laughs> I have the map. I have the map way zoomed out. That makes sense. I just feel like I'm uh, also fleet like, footed Avi out. Sa Avi said that uh, he's good. Hey, Run. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Avi. Catch up. Can we walk past the spiky thing or? The halfling sees you coming back, Kogo. You hear the halfling say, "Back already?" She's gonna shout back. We have men who ended up getting bit, and he seems to be kind of hurt, so better safe than sorry? He just nods, and he pulls, uh, he starts pulling a rope, and y'all are able to walk past the palisade. Avi, are you there? Yes, just teleported. I just had, yes, I just had, like, three Suddenly, things Avi. all at once. Y'all are just no walking past this. No one Obvi. expects the Avi Inquisition. <laughs> just pop back up. Hello. Uh, Coco's gonna shout up to the halfling behind her that they just walked past and uh, ask, You have healer here? We need healer. Uh, he, you see him stop for a second like he's trying to understand your version of halfling uh, since it is newer. Uh, then the version that they speak. So he stops and goes, yes, uh, up with the chief. Okay, healer, healer, take care of boo-boos, like bad bads, right? Yes, that healer? Yes. Okay, thank you. What did he say? Healer is up with the chief, so I'm supposing that is where we originally came from. That, ooh. 
Big Tower. Yeah. Avi, you sure you're good? Yeah. Yeah, let's just go. But there are stairs. He doesn't want to be in the papoose cogo. You are you are you are hell bent on getting me in that thing, aren't you? Well Coco could throw you up to the top floor too. That works too. Oh. No. <laughs> no. No, that 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 is fine, Kogo, thank you. It's much faster. I heard them called yes. lifts in metropolitan areas. Kogo lift. So not Kogo makes a lift. It's not the same thing. I've been I've been to some of these cities. This is not what you think it, it's not what you think it is. So one word has two different meanings because lift yes. sounds like lift people. Kogo lift people. Yes. Kogo is lift. I mean, when we get all the no, other no. his leg falls off. The, the Kogo, no. Ko Kogo is uh, Kogo can lift. Kogo is not lift. I don't know. Lift make good purpose for Kogo. And as y'all are conversing with this, she's literally, like, walking right behind you this entire time. Like, with an uncomfortable amount of space between you and she. It, honestly, they've been... Uh, he, he, is, he has known Kogo for long enough that he, he, at this point, he, it doesn't even bother him anymore. Ow. 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 Coco can still oh, lift. I know we're upstairs, but there's one more flight of stairs. Coco, you need to talk to the halflings. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, human got boo-boo. Hurt real bad. Not sure what's wrong. Need help. The halfling, one of the halfling guards just looks at you and then halfling goes, you don't have to break it up into such choppy bits. Okay, well, the other guy just kind of acted like he wasn't quite sure what I was saying. I thought I'd kind of cut down on the computation time in your brains, but okay, that's fine. Are you, he's up, are you talking about Roy? Is, At the gate, like, thumbs back towards the gate? Yes, the Roy, yes. He, he's an idiot. Ah. His helmet, was his helmet on backwards again? Not this time. I did see face, but it did look a little skewed, so it might make sense. I, I, I think his sword might have been on the wrong side, too. So you never know. Well, he's left-handed, so that that's normal. Anyway, if you're wanting a healer, there's one up there with the chief. Okay, cool. He told me right. We're, we're, we're going in the right direction. Yay. Also, out of character, you did miss a chance to use one of your words that you made of about being an idiot <laughs> for the halflings. Yes, I did. Because, for some reason, the other window I have does not want to open. Ah, fair enough. Okay, she's going to turn back to uh, Avi then and say, Okay, healer, yes, up here. We'll, we'll, we'll go up here. Come on, Gimpy. Good. Ow. 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 A number of owls later, you make it up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> For the sake of brevity. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, they, they, we're told that there was a. Uh, oh, they can't understand me. I'm gonna, Kogo. You know what needs to be done. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> and Abby is gonna Abby, be my and Abby's friend. Just gonna Abby, my friend, you're no. limping. Oh Jesus, no. he's awake. No, he's awake. No, uh, he's gonna. Uh, uh, Kogo. Can you ask? The, can you, can you ask, ask the chief if this is what they meant when they said healer? Oh no! Uh, before Kogo, before you can say anything, well, yes, I've been the healer. I have been inspecting all these halflings. I speak their language, by the way. Uh, I have been inspecting them. Many of them, many of them have been so. So now nutrition, he points at the halfling sitting on a stone bench. Like, there's a makeshift medical clinic up here. Like, there's even, like, a bowl of hot water that's been heated over the fire. Uh, even this this one right here had the rickets. And that one over there has its ass on the floor. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 that, that's nice. Oh. That, that's very nice. Kogo, 
Can you do me a favor, my old friend? She's just, like, locked eyes on Parnassus like a cat when it sees a bird outside. And she just looks, and she just, like, says to Avi, what? Can you throw me off of this tower? Kogo only want to be lift, not down. That, that would be horrible. Oh, your leg! Your leg! Let me see that. Let me see that. That could get infected and it could go septic. And septic could lead to irritable bowel syndrome. Kogo. Oh, sweet from kill me. Kogo, please tell uh, pl uh, Kogo, please Kogo, Kogo out. No, no. Nope. Can I have your gourd? Okay, Kogo, not that heartless. She will, uh, and she'll uncork her gourd and, like, hand it over to him and, like, kind of tilt it up. Because it's, it's a big-ass gourd so that you can, like, drink yeah. from it. And then when you signal like oh, you're yeah. done, she's going to keep doing it for, like, another second or two. Like, no, I insist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm drinking now. Yeah. Ah. Uh. She's just going to go on the other side of the fire and just sit down cross-legged with her palms on her knees and just be leaning forward, just staring dead at Parnassus. Well, Parnassus, I will, uh, I will say this. Uh, seeing as this is the first real time that we've been in that as a group, now that you remember, um, that we have been in this particular type of situation, I feel very, very confident in what I am about to say. If my leg gets worse, Kogo is going to tear you and tear your arms off. Um, that is quite violent. I, it is. Don't it, understand. It, it, I it, am it a, really is. Do you forget I'm an actual... Like, he leans in and whispers towards you, I'm an actual doctor and a oh, cleric. No. No, no, no. I, I, I did not forget. Uh, it's kind of like people who, uh, who are, who are vegans. They never let you forget. Uh, <laughs> sit up here. You hear him? You hear him thump on the table. Sit up. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you to come down to me. In this situation. I cannot do that in all honesty because of the darkness. If you sit on the table, it will be just fine. And he actually pulls a piece of paper over it so you won't get the rickets. Kogo's going to walk over and just, like, hold her arm out kind of towards his arm so she can, like, get up under his shoulders and just kind of nod at him. Need lift. Thank you, Kogo. Kogo is determined. The only reason I'm not doing the things I want to do is because he's not actually <laughs> here, and so it's not fair. So she's not going to. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. You can save it for a little. Oh, I will. I've, I've now got two weeks of, of Kogo anger <laughs> pent up. So much hate oh. for y'all's cleric. <laughs> okay, well, Avi, will you let Kogo assist you up onto the table? Yes. Okay, she's going to kind of scoop under your arms then, like, under your shoulders and, like, hoist you up. And, um, is he meaning this stone bench table, DM? Yes. Okay, and carry him over to the table and plop him down. Which, by the way, uh, all of y'all would be fairly amazed that Dr. Parnassus could set up a makeshift medical clinic this quick. Including somehow having a roll of paper to pull over this table. Um... Let's be honest here, DM. Um, our characters are surprised that Parnassus can uh, can actually put his boots on the right feet. <laughs> I was about to say, Coco's not terribly impressed. But yes, <laughs> that would be why. Coco just assumes all the halflings did the work. <laughs> Parnassus looks at your leg and actually goes, Now, may I roll up your pants leg to get a better look at it? Consent yes. is always important. Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he just rolls up the pant like, ooh, sewer blight. Mm. He touches your leg and... I punch him. <laughs> I, 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 just one, of those, one of those situations where he, go, he, go, he goes to kind of, just to kind of palpate the area. And Abby, Abby's just kind of laying there. He palpates the area, and Abby just and Abby just slugs him. Just go, ah! 
Okay, roll, roll an attack roll. <laughs> It's sad that Kogo has more constraint than Avi at this point. I blame the fact that he's sick, though. You should uh, just be a... Yeah, it's just, it's just a it'd be a, just a strength, a, a strength check. <laughs> to be okay, fair, this good. isn't the first time one member that of our crew one. wanted to hit another. That was an ouchie. Okay, that hit. Uh, that would be what? Uh, it's D4. a D4, D4 cut in half. Uh, no, it's just uh, d uh, it'd just be a d uh, just be a d four. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and roll a d four damage. Yeah. You hit Parnassus in the jaw. <laughs> it does not knock him. Like oddly enough, it does not knock him back or stagger him. He just rubs his jaw. Hmm. It's very tender and swollen. But if you want me to cure it, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, 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 sorry about that. I am actually legitimately sorry about that. I didn't realize that was going to happen. I think we lost the DM a little bit. You went. Bro. Hello? Okay, we lost really? like all of that from you. <laughs> Last thing I heard was you have, and then nothing. He said, uh, "You hear, swollen, affected, and a little tender, obviously. But if you continue to act this way, you'll have to be sedated for a very minor injury." I have can, to we touch can we? Can we? Can we skip? Can we? Can we skip over the me act continuing to act like this and just go straight to the sedation? I don't think it's necessary for this, but uh, do looked, what you need to do. Okay, looks like go half my evening. I used the other half. Stop, stop. You, <laughs> Did I, I go know. robotic? Yep. Can you hear me now? Uh, yep. Uh, I gave my ether to a halfling uh, that I had to amputate a limb on. Uh, Miss Kogo, can he please have some more of your sake? Kogo's just going to kind of stare and then grunt and then walk over and give him some more sake. I'm going to take a big ass pull on it and then all right, do what you need to do. Constitution check, Avi. Uh, check or saving throw? Actually, doesn't uh, matter. Same thing. You are drunk. Any actions until you sober up will be at disadvantage. Well, physical Woo! actions. Yeah. Dr. Parnassus then casts Lesser Restoration, removing your disease. Uh -huh. He then looks at you. You look a little torn up. Do you need healing? Uh, yes. And a nap. I also need to get some sleep. You restore 10 hit points. What is my Cool. He, he, throws, he throws his arms up. Now, other than being inebriated, you're all better. I need my table back to take care of the one with ass on the floor. Yes. That's, uh, yes. And I just gonna just kind of kind of get up. I gotta get up. And, uh, Kind of look at her, get off, get off the table, look at Kogo, and go. Do uh, we have somewhere to sleep tonight or now? Mm, Kogo can check, and so she'll go and turn to the chieftain. Do you happen to have lodging for us? Because 
after, you know, the bite and us biting off a little more than we can chew, we're a little bit tired and need kind of to recuperate. She points down to the tents. You can sleep there, but the sun will be down soon and what's in there will be coming out at night. The safest places is to sleep out on the To sleep out on, and then we lost you. We're still losing your DM. I've not said anything. You said your best bet is to sleep out. And then cut out. By the way, do you have my stream actually playing? Because if so, you may want to pause it, because that's probably way too much. I don't even play my stream when I'm streaming. And we lost him. Can you hear me now? Yes, for now. Yeah. Are you watching just, the stream? Just, I am not. Uh, I am not watching the stream right now. I Discord was being weird. Okay. What was the last thing you heard? It would be safer out. It'd be safer out here on the walls. Oh. No, well, I can't. I slept in the worst places. Kogo is okay with this. <laughs> uh, I assume Kogo is going to relay that information to Avi. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, Kogo is going to let them know that. Uh... So, yeah, she says there are tents, but tents are down on the ground and it's close to night and the things that we just fought come out at night. So we sleep up on wall. I've slept in worse places. <laughs> Abby's gonna Abby's gonna go, that's nice. And and like slump down against the wall and pass out. <laughs> like and like one of the like magical back up against the wall, slide down ass, slide down until his ass is, uh, ass is on there, wrap his arms around his knees, and he is snoring. Parnassus actually puts a blanket yeah. over Avi. Kogo's just gonna roll her eyes and walk over to this corner. And, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, we all have just basic travel equipment, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna lay down a bedroll, and she'll just curl up on it. It's way too short for her, but that's okay. <laughs> she'll be, like, in the fetal position on her side, like, curled up trying to fit. <laughs> As you do that, Parnassus just goes, next! And another halfling walks up to his little clinic. Kogo's going to stand up, pick up her bedroll, and she is going to walk down the gangway. Because she is not going to be standing where Parnassus' voice is going to be waking her up every damn ten minutes. So she's going to curl up over here. Is Artlana going to rest as well? Oh. Elves don't actually need to sleep because we have trance. I was thinking about going up to one of the outer uh, walls to watch for when stuff show starts showing up. Then again, I can't talk to the halfling, so that might be, not be a good idea. Well, as y'all go to sleep, night falls. The halflings barricade all the stairwells up. And through the course of the night, you hear the moans of the hungry dead roaming through the area. You hear a couple of crossbows go off. And it sounds like the hungry dead wander away. And the next morning, uh, you wake up. And several of the halflings are already cooking. And Parnassus has started checks again on the halflings he had not gotten to the day before. You actually see that most of the halflings look happy. One of them's even eating a lemon. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least he's helping them. But why with the lemon citrus? There are so many other citrus. And he brings fucking lemons. 
They were cheap? She's just gonna, like, grumble and spit to the side. You said some people were cooking, though? Damn. Yeah, there's there's, there's regular food being caught, or cooked, like... Like up some, here, or...? They're cooking up on the walls and several of the fires. Like, you can see that several of the halflings that had been on duty at night are now sleeping in the tents below. Kogo's gonna walk over to one of their spit roasts and just be like, can Kogo have food? They just hand you a plate. She starts it, has, it down. It has something that is a mix of pork, seems like uh, cornmeal, and something sweet. You're not sure what. Abby is gonna go. Is gonna gonna wake up about this time, and without it, uh, not even like that morning after hangover shuffle. He's kind of. He's literally gonna wake up, look around, stand up, shuffle over to Parnassus's workbench, grab five lemons, walk out to uh, to the to the area where where Kogo and Arlana are. He's gonna grab a plate, sit down, uh, sit down next to to Kogo. Grab his mug, start cutting the lemons in half and juicing them. Look over at Kogo and go, can uh, uh, drink. Kogo's gonna uncork her gourd, pour it over into his and, cup. Cause that is that what you're wanting. Oh yeah. Okay. He's, he's gonna he's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna, sh he's gonna shake it up. He's gonna take a sip. He's gonna look over the plate, grab a piece of pork, drop it in, swirl it around, taste it again, and go. That's bitter. And down the whole goddamn thing. Ugh. Kogo's just gonna look at him <sighs> and then look over at the orange peels or the lemon peels and hold her hand out. Can Kogo have those peels? Yes. Pass, uh, pa uh, pass them over. She's going to take them, <sighs> uncork her gourd, squeeze them over it, and then drop them down in there. She now has lemon sake. Nice. Sockies. Nice. Yeah. I... I feel like utter shit. <sighs> well, your leg doesn't look like it's rotting off anymore. That is a thing. Yes, it, that that seems that seems to be. Uh, he is annoying. Uh, he is cringeworthy, cringeworthy as far as conversation goes, and I kind of want to punch him in the face every time he opens his mouth. Well, you but kind you know of did punch doing. him in the face once. Yeah, but that what that I don't count. We're not going to count that one. That one was completely. That one was legitimately unintentional. That was solely reflex. Uh huh. Kogo's just gonna wink and nod and be like, right, right. Uh, one of the halflings comes up to you and then asks, uh, asks you to come back to the chief. She, the chieftain, wishes to speak to you. Okay, guys. Duty calls, captain calls, or chieftain calls. We need to go. <sighs> uh, the chieftain looks at you, uh, looks at Avi specifically, tilts her head, and then looks at Kogo. Is he feeling better? Kogo's going to look at Avi. Do you at least feel better than yesterday? Yes. She turns back to the chieftain. Yes, Technically, yes. Good. Will you still please rid us of these undead scourges? Coco sees no problem with this. We said we would. Thank you, then. Please do. I don't know how many more nights with that. And the giant's fire is getting closer. I can only fight one of these things at a time. She'll turn back to the other two. All right, back to work. Let's go kill some, Let's go things. Kill some things. Back to the pits. Yeah, Parnassus, 
At least now we know what we're dealing with. Parnassus looks back at you. I am sorry, my friends. I still have many clients to deal with. I feel I'd be much more useful here. Yeah, you, you stay right where you are, Doc. May you die in your sleep choking on the vomit of your cowardice. And she just walks off. <laughs> Come go. It's a, it, 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 it. That agitation comes from a lack of vitamin C. <laughs> she just dumped lemons in her sake, so... Well, that'll be good. She should drink those. It'll be a great mood elevator. Kogo's gonna turn around, uncork it, 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 take a gigantic I, sip while holding her middle finger sky high facing him, wipe her mouth with her arm, and march down the stairs. <sighs> good luck. If you find anything you need to identify, bring it back to me. Kogo is mentally thinking through all of the stuff she has in her pack to see if there's anything she can throw at him. <laughs> But she decides against. And with that, y'all are heading back to the uh, the borrow. Yes. Yep. Can we just hop straight up there? Yes. You do not have to just move your tokens. If you get them to the entrance, I will move y'all in and then switch the map over. We are at the entrance. We disappear. Ah. Better? Okay, so those are gone. The first thing you notice upon entering the tomb into the room y'all had been in before is that all the bodies that were there are gone. Well, this might not be good. There is absolutely no way that this can end badly. So, do we go back up through the tombs, or do we keep going down? There's our cave. There's our tomb music. So you've already explored the first room in here that you had to retreat from. Go ahead and delete that body that was getting eaten on last time. And everybody make a... Actually, since Kogo stepped away, let's all take a short break to get something to drink, eat, or go to the potty. Cool. Sorry about that. I'm back. I got a tickle and had to get a drink. Uh, we are actually all doing the same. Oh, okay. Well, that works.
back. Welcome back. Let's see. Arlana is still in the kitchen. Is Avi back? No, he is not back. He is taking a trip. That stealth is so strong. It is. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I got a tickle and I like had to run go get some water. Are you going to light another torch, Avi? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so yes, it's lit. Question. For the halfling slang, <clears throat> is uh, the word for sob, is that supposed to be like you sad sob, or is that supposed to be like the verb sob? Abbreviation. S-O-B. Oh, that makes more sense. Arlana is getting something sweet in the kitchen because... No, I'm uh, right here. Oh, you're back? I yes. did not hear you get back. Okay, so what are y'all going to do now that y'all are back in the Avi almost died from getting bit in the leg? So, Avi's going to have a, a, a quick flashback and kind of shudder to himself and then get mad and then go, all right, let's get through and kill everything that we come across. Would you like some lemon sake for your troubles? Yes. Yes, I would. You are already drunk, so remember that your actions... All right, he slept it off, didn't he? Oh, wait, that was the night before, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> I was going to say, so. damn, that's some sake. <laughs> How much are you drinking, Avi? She's probably just going to give him like a little shot. She's being a little stingy about it. Kogo's lemon sake. I do need to make sure he doesn't get bit again. Lemons can protect against that. I, I don't, don't know. I'm not a doctor. Going to protect against that. Well, then why does he insist that we eat so many lemons if they don't help? They don't help. There's things that does help. I don't think that includes zombie bites. In the back of your head, you all hear from something he's repeatedly said on the boat. It saves your dentition. Coco has no Help, idea what It helps your teeth or something. Either way, which way do we want to go? Coco's just going to bare her teeth and show all of her gnarled, nasty fangs and be like, they help this really, really. really. I think it's a little late, Coco. She's going to flip her off. <laughs> but not like in like a hate you way, just more of like a <laughs> rebuttal way. <laughs> And she's going to take, like, three big swigs right now, though. She, she's getting ready. Kogo has advantages from drinking. Exactly. So do we go up and around through the tombs like we were looking in before, or do we just keep going through where we started going? If you remember, you explored everything in this series of tombs that you're currently in. Kogo still has the toy. Oh, yes. Koga will not be giving up that toy anytime soon. Koga has plans for this. Ominous. Koga suggests we go south because more bad bads sound like they came from south last time. Agreed. There are lots of little nooks, though. No, considering we cleaned out everything and... I ended up finding things that I'd rather not find above in the, uh, in the other passage. I suggest that I, I agree we go, we go south. As you continue through the south, the tomb just seems to go deeper, almost as if it's a running hallway. And then there seems to be a series of rooms that break off to the side 
of uh, of this section of the tomb. Avi, are you following them or like, I'm just going to shoot? Yeah, I'm coming. Should we check rooms as we go? If we want to be thorough. <laughs> It looks like we have uh, passageways in here. Yes, Kogo, as you enter into there, you look and see what looks like a tunnel that has been dug through the wall. This looks ominous. Kogo, not quite Kogo sure not what that word means, but she's heard y'all use it enough. And this seems like ominous. You are dealing with walking dead, so... You notice that ahead of you, Arlana, there are several more sarcophagi. Like the ones right there by the pillars? Yes, the one that are in these, uh, what seem to be like carved out coves, and then one large room at the end. Kogo's going to look back over her shoulder. Do these look safe to you? Hmm. Maybe? Uh, Abby will check them. Y'all give me just a second. I'm receiving a phone call. Okay. Oh, we can't be? Uh, Avi, do you want to... You do the check. Kogo does the moving just in case. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Maybe she can use one of these, like stone sarcophagi tops is like a new shield for herself. <laughs> <laughs> tower Kogo shield. Tower shield. Solid granite tower shield. That would be a bitch if it actually, you know, exploded or something, though. Yeah, she'd probably get cut up a little bit. I think everybody in the general vicinity would. Bobby, tell us a story. <clears throat> there once was a man from a city in, from a uh, from a far away city and that city was that city's name was Nantucket hey you learned this one from <laughs> Devlin god damn it <laughs> yes Yes, this is for, this is the the, the 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 Devlin was funny. Devlin had a Devlin had a tendency to ramble. Maybe he's one of your long lost relatives. No. no. Is he a rock? No, he is not. He no, he is not. He is not a rock. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, uh, that that uh. uh the uh, the boulder Terry uh, he did not he, he, he did not have any children uh, surprisingly though he uh, surprisingly though he was married twice no little uh, pebbles no no that was there was a that was a very it, it, there were there were there was a it was touch and go for a moment there were there, there was a cut there were there were two or three scares uh back in back home in the village but no um there was a there, there, one of uh one of my cousins because he, he he was adopted uh one of, one of one of my cousins from the other side of the family uh said that she was pregnant for uh, for, for, for Terry uh, but uh, nothing ever came of it uh, she she was not, she was she was not a very 
truthful person. Uh, appar- apparently, uh, apparently, lying runs in the family. I've never experienced that before. Huh. Really? Uh, I, I, they say they say that every member of my family will lie before they tell the truth. I, I don't see it. It's one of those things. Uh, I guess. Uh, uh, perceptions of for perceptions from the outside uh people who don't know you always truthful lovey always always i hate liars liars are uh liars are the worst are the worst kinds of people back Welcome front back. My child, apparently, who is staying with his grandparents, has um, thrown several things in the toilet, and Papa's having to fix it. Oh no, what did he throw in? Uh, the, the main thing, they got everything else out, but they can't find the pee guard to the potty seat. And that the is potty not seat the- go down the hole oh. pretty oh, much. <laughs> Oh no. So, Papa is having to unclog a toilet again, like I did this last week for them, because he threw something else down the toilet that we still don't know, but we have yet to find the marshal to one of his Paw Patrol figures. Oh, God. <laughs> that poor clumsy puppy is just somewhere in a Mississippi sewer now. <laughs> oh. Next to be Marshall. Children. It- all the viewers. <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen that show. It really does suck to be Marshall. Marshall got to get his shit together. Indeed. Rocky, dude, Rocky's where it's at. Dude, Rocky is steampunk as shit. Rocky <laughs> and because Rubble's always doing weird shit when they call him. Like it's like they all were hanging out just a second ago. Paw Patrol, report! And, like, that dog's already gotten into a bubble bath. <laughs> I'm like, man, I want to know what's with Rubble, because apparently that dude has resources to get a hold of crap. Dude, all, anyway. All I'm, say, all I'm gonna say about, the last thing I'm gonna say about that dude, Chase is a narc, dude. <laughs> oh, it's Chase and Marshall. They always get to do everything first. Chase, we need your winch. It's the strongest pulling thing. I'm like, that dude over there's got a damn bulldozer. <laughs> that thing has treads. You know, I'm pretty sure it says cat somewhere on the side of his vehicle. <laughs> You've seen too much of this show. Yeah. Turtles don't squeak. Okay, okay. back to the game. Uh, <laughs> wisdom check for Kogo on the... That like, was just you know, for whether or not gotta... she was going to ask for assistance. It was just a personal role. Oh, dang. Yeah, uh, that's four checks. Dexterity? Uh, and thieves, a save? Tools is dex pl- thieves tool is dex plus proficiency. I am proficiency. I am proficient in dex, so a dex save is the same role as my thieves tool role. And I haven't put in right. a macro for the thieves tool. Uh, you can put it in your equipment. Uh, I'll show you after the game how to do it. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know uh, how to do it. I just have You need to. Okay. You need to do a perception check before you start using your tools to disarm a trap. Though, we we oh, can keep that role. Correct. Like Avi just pulls out his thieves' tools and goes, "Oh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, you notice that this is not a trap. Are you looking at the one right in front of Kogo? Yeah." This you notice that the Sakapa guy is not is not trapped. Mm. Kogo, go for it. Kogo's gonna pull the top off to the side. Because you seem to have better luck with these things than I do. Eh, Kogo can take a hit too if she has to. You're able to move it fairly easy, Kogo. Just slide it off to the side mostly without knocking it off causing a lot of noise because you know there's more in here uh what you know or anybody going to do a perception check on the body i will 
Pogo, it is a dead body. Carlana, you notice a uh, what looks like a half elven mummified corpse wearing a long silk tunic uh, and has four rings on its left hand. Is there anything engraved on the rings? Uh, there is simply a family crest carved into the side of one. What is the crest? Avi will be right back. Uh, the crest has a round style shield that has a shield boss in the middle. And on one side of it, it has a uh, some type of flower design on one side of the shield. Hmm. Do, I, don't rec I don't recognize it. No. You, you, you do not recognize it. Hmm. But there are four rings with precious stones in them. Well, I'm not a thief, so... We took the broken bow and shit, but I can use that. Those are just shiny. I'll be might feel differently, but I'm not going to take them. What is Kogo doing? Kogo is going to move on to the next one. She doesn't really care too much about the rings. Well, she didn't see him anyway, so she just sees dead body. Okay, so Avi's going to go ahead and pocket those rings. Are you going to check? Are you going for this one, Kogo? Yes. Uh, do you want to roll for Avi? Because he said he was cool with checking all of them for me before I opened them. I can corroborate that. Wrong one. <laughs> Sarcophagus, disarm your traps now. Open. Open. <laughs> that would act. That would actually work. <laughs> Avi just goes. Yes, this one is not trapped. Kogo moves the top. It just sounded like the tabaxi. <laughs> yes. A I, can't, bit. I can't. I can't. Yes. yes. I, Avi pulls off the mask. It is I. I have the fingers. <laughs> I have been with you the whole time. <laughs> We have been betrayed. It pulls off the mask again. It's just Avi. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally believe that. Uh, inside uh, this sarcophagus, you see a uh, the armor is ruined. It, it The leather armor has just rotted. But held across the length of the torso and legs is a silver longsword. And what looks like in the remains of a rotted bandolier, there are five silver daggers. Hmm. Ooh. Age has not touched them. And you can tell that, yes, they are the precious metal silver. Or it has been used in a coating of this weapon. Can I do a perception check to see if this one's also a half-elf? Yes, you can. 100% human. Damn, apparently I know his whole lineage. Uh, you know that there's a cavity in the back of his mouth. <laughs> so, half elf, human. What did we find in the other one? An elf and. And a human. And human. Coco's definitely going to take one of those daggers because she can use that as a, a monk weapon. Okay, add one silver dagger to your uh, character sheet. How many daggers were there? There five? were now four. Kogo took one, so there are now four silver daggers. If I do end up using it, I have something called a monk hammer attack, but it would be the same thing, so I might just roll that. Okay, I might take a couple daggers. So you're taking two of the silver daggers? Yes. 
take Avi will then take the uh, the other two. Anybody taking the silver long sword? Y'all were told by the halflings that y'all could take whatever's in the tomb. It's not theirs. Go go can't use a long sword. I have a short sword, but I'll take I guess I'll grab the long sword. Okay, add one silver long sword to your sheet. You just give me the stats to it later. Uh they're the standard long sword, one D eight uh slashing. But they are silver. And they're poor expensive. Yes. There are silver. Okay, that's two. Give me just a second. I'm updating Avi's sheet for him. How would change? What are you trying to do, Arlana? I was trying to add the silver longsword, but it won't let me add it as a D8. It puts it as a D6. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, it's a plus six because that is your strength. I, I can add it in for you. Okay. I also need the daggers on there. I forgot they said we could take crap. It's really weird to watch you do that. Oh, edit Wait, your oh, sheet edit. for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little ghost, like, clicking around on your computer. Yeah. Oh, I have a dagger. I totally forgot I had it. It's okay, now you have a silver one. It looks cooler, probably. Probably. Yes, I, yes. I think my dagger actually does more damage. <laughs> Because it's a 1d4 plus 7, this one's a 1d4 plus 5. What are you doing to my dagger? I was double checking it because you have stuff that... Let me double check. Oh, so yes, I need to add 2 damage to your... To your longsword and your dagger. Okay. Abby, I mean, we got the silver weapons. Take care of it. We're eventually gonna find so much crap, it's like, I can't move, we got too much shit. It's okay, Coco can help. She can be... We are overburdened! Horse. Let's see, Avi, are you back? Yes. Because I think there are some... You pocketed three Peridot gold rings and one Amethyst gold ring. You also have now two silver daggers. Ooh. I think that there's sarcophagi yeah. across the hallway too, weren't there? Uh, you might have seen some stuff across the other hallway before you got into this series of tombs that have the tunnel dug through the side. Uh, Kogo, are you trying to open this one? Yes, but she's waiting on uh, them to check it. Actually, no, you know what? Fuck it. She's just going to open it. <laughs> Okay, make a dexterity saving throw, please. Of course. <laughs> of course. Ooh. Should have been patient. It's always the last ones. Always. As you open it, Kogo, you start to hear, <laughs> and a flash of light strikes you, like straight in the chest and knocks you back into the other room or other wall. Like, everyone else hears the, oh, but there's no sound other than this flash, and then Kogo getting thumped back, and the casket slides the rest of the way open. Are you okay? Kogo just saw the light? Kogo feel okay? <laughs> Cute tangled song. <laughs> And at last I see the light. 
gonna carefully kind of lean over the edge and look in the sarcophagus. Uh, Avi is gonna ready, ready his sword and kind of get in her over here next to Arlana and see what the hell is in the, the box. Perception checks. Oh, Kogo. VH1 had a joke about that. It, it really awesome. sounds like that, though. I'm not gonna lie, I always thought this one said. Okay, what you notice inside is that the remains of another human individual. Again, the what looks like a very ornate set of leather armor has rotted. You can There might be some precious metal left that was decorating it. But in a scabbard laying on his chest is the scabbard and the sword itself look like they're untouched. And the scabbard has a white enamel to it. Is it a short sword or a long sword? Short sword. Kogo want. Can Kogo have? Can Kogo try and maybe Kogo give away? Arlana already has short sword that has freezy power, so I'm good. Avi? Uh, go ahead if you. I'll take it if you don't want it. Kogo can use short sword, and if it doesn't end up being very good, then we can always sell it too. Might get good price. This is true. Kogo gonna okay, pick it up. Go. Just go ahead. You now have a short sword. Because I don't believe anybody in the party right now has any has a proficiency nope. in Arcana. Nope. <laughs> In fact, y'all are mean to the one person in the party who does. I mean, Kogo can try to roll, but she only has a plus one. <laughs> you would know something, but probably nothing really that useful. Is it something she will find out if she slashes somebody? I don't know bunk. You, you oh, know Kogo does magic. so. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it that Kogo is good, gets good rolls... <laughs> On things that she sucks with. Oh, repeatedly. Shit. Repeatedly. <laughs> and yet I freaking punch myself in the face and shit like that. Why? Okay, so Kogo, what it is is you have absolutely no clue what this sword does. But you can tell there's a little bit of magic in it. Ko Kogo likes this. Kogo likes this a lot. Kogo will Okay, be so... Where are y'all gonna go? You still had the other side of this chamber. You had the tunnel that was leading off. Kogo is now really hyped up. More loot. Let's just go take more things. <laughs> I think we follow the orc. Kogo runs off like a child that's just been told Christmas and Santa have arrived into this tomb. Uh, I'm gonna kind of take a stop and kind of lean into to, to this. Uh, it's this little antechamber this is a little where it looks like they do in and do like a quick perception check just to kind of take a look, take a listen for what I can just before moving back to go with Coco. Okay, so go what? ahead and make a perception check and then we will resolve what the rest of the party is doing. Uh, you can tell that this was dug with hands. Something just Something had dug through this searching for something. There's not a lot of intelligence to it, but you can tell it leads probably to another section of the tomb on the other side just by the stone rubble at the edge of your vision. Right. Or from, does it look like it came from this way? It dug. Does it look like it came from you. this way or from this way? It dug towards you. So from here, the, uh, from, the, uh, from the, that chamber to this one? Yes. Okay. I will make my way over to the other. Okay. Side. I'm going to move you to right about there, Avi, since they were already over there. What are y'all doing at this other sarcophagi? 
I was waiting for Ovid. Coco will wait too, so we can let him come on in. Coco. Go go make a wisdom check to see if you can wait since you're so pumped up on loot. Damn, yes, you are able to wait. <laughs> she's like trembling though. It's like a chihuahua. She's just like, yeah. So I excited. see Kogo prancing a little bit, like lightly bouncing from foot to foot. Like with her fist up in front of her shoulders, like yee. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alright, Avi, you can make your way over that way then. They're waiting on you. Hurry, 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 hurry. It is not trapped. Kogo shoves the lid off. <laughs> I have a roll to see what's inside. As the lid flies back, Arlana, you see it as it comes launching out. Oh no. Uh, uh and it oh. Ooh, Fuck! Jumps up, lashing at Kogo. Uh, swing, swing on, swinging on it. Uh, Can I stab at it? Technically, it would have. Let's see. Avi, roll another perception check. Okay, technically it would have a surprise action. I can't stab at it even though I saw it jumping out. You can, basically what happens is it's launching itself out. Like the second Kogo gets this lid off, it's almost like it's, it's like spring loaded and it pops out. It's a horrible, <laughs> horrible jack in the box. Pop goes it's like, the ghoulie. It's like, <laughs> Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, <laughs> it's like Five Nights at Freddy's all over again. Stab it. That'd be like initial reaction is to stab the damn thing. Like surely Kogo, if it's suddenly suddenly something like jump scaring her in the face, she could at least get a fist up in the air at it. I mean, come on. I just imagine Kogo would probably punch it in the face. Nine. It's a nine. Still. So surprise attack. You will you will more than likely survive this to punch the shit out of it. Good. So, are okay, we waiting? Can so, we do anything to react? What? I'm double checking something. She can't technically punch thing as things as bonus movement. See, if you're surprised, you can't move or take an action uh, as this happens. You can't take a reaction as this happens. So this is going to occur, and after that, we will uh, roll initiative. I will not pull up a tracker since there's only one thing for y'all to fight. But as it launches out, Kogo, it tries to bite you in the shoulder. It does not hit. And it tries to sink a claw into you. That does it. These loot boxes are not so fun anymore, guys. Okay, so you take seven uh, slashing damage and two necrotic damage from the claw slash. All right, and I now need everybody to roll initiative. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we suck. Apparently Arlana's like, oh, holy shit, what's that? 
she like accidentally like fires her bow like off in some random corner and now has to like spend time redoing it. <laughs> okay, uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to be the ghoul again, Avi, Kogo, and then Arlana. So. Oh, damn. The ghoul is going to try to bite Kogo again. Nope. And miss. And is going to try to claw again. Yep, again. Apparently it's awesome with the claw. I have no problem with it being awesome with the claw. It's the friggin' mouth that's the problem. So six slashing and five necrotic as it claws at you, Kogo. All right. It is now Avi's turn. Oh, that hits. So that would be 21 damage. Correct. Okay, Avi, you almost cut this thing in half. Like, just shock as this thing comes out clawing and scrabbling at Kogo. Like, every zombie movie's worst nightmare kind of thing. And you're just like, Ah! and slash it and like i said you nearly cut it in half through the abdomen so now there's just awful spilling out yeah. go go it is now your go uh, that would be a hit okay are you using your full attack or just doing that Does that hit? The, the 16 barely hits. I got some lag on the roll 20 side. There we go. Okay, that's her total move. So, two unarmed attacks and a bonus attack? Yes. You just basically fist to the north star it in the chest, Go-Go. Just like... <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and its torso seems hamburgered, and it slumps back into the coffin. Well, that was mildly unexpected. And not very pleasant. And not very... Was it the ghouls or the other things that got back up again? The other things got back up. But the ghouls didn't. The ghouls did not. Can I stab it in the... For, like through the forehead just to be safe. Yes. I'm. I stab it through the forehead. As you stab it through the forehead, you hear, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Just to be sure. Do we see anything else in there? Nothing else in the coffin other than the school that had been taking a nap in there, apparently. One more. Coco's gonna go ahead and, like, have her fist ready. <laughs> I'm gonna stand back here and have my bow ready. Yeah, she's she's gonna be ready to punch a, punch a bitch in the face if it jumps out. Everything seems perfectly fine, Avi. You don't... Nothing seems trapped. Neither did the last one! Kogo's gonna move the thing back with her left arm with her right fist, like, cocked and ready to punch. Okay, Kogo, as you're doing that, make a perception check. You notice a dead body that has a handout. A handout? Like, it seems like a hand is up. Um. Is, is there any sign of life? Is it moving at all? No. 
but you also notice that there's no fingernails on its fingers. Ooh. Like the tips of this corpse's fingers look extremely oh torn up. I put down my bow and walk over. I think this guy may have been put to rest a little bit early. He was buried alive? Avi, mean, this guy was obviously buried alive. He also has a very nice cloak on. Like, fancy as hell. Fancy cloak, Arlana. Just wanted to be sure. Anything, Anything fancy else of interest in her? Yeah. There is no magic, Kogo. Oh. There is no magic. Kogo streams no across. Weapons. Just a very nice cloak on this corpse. Hmm. Nothing interesting in that one. Kogo can make fancy new fancy new papoose. It's gonna say no capes. <laughs> if nobody else moves to get it, Kogo will, will go ahead and uh, pull the cape out. Avi, do you want the cloak? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Avi's already wearing it. <laughs> like, like, all right. So, 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 so this That's is how this all went it, in my head. This is how this all went down. Arlana is drawn. Uh, Arlana is drawn down. Avi standing there, is standing there with a sword. Kogo pushes uh, pushes the thing open. Avi and Kogo look at the skeleton. Avi notices the cloak. Arlana puts her bow down, and Avi is fastening it around his neck. Oh lord! You took my new wow, that sucked. That must have su that must have sucked. Huh. Buried alive. Huh. Odd. Well, the they're... others looked like they had tried to fight their way out. Well. Does that... Nice. Uh, Kogo is actually going to go ahead and take a, a potion of healing. Okay. Roll. Uh, Arlana, go ahead and make a perception check. You didn't need to walk that far. Kogo's just pouting because she didn't get the fancy cloak. The potions are for my feelings. <laughs> That's what the potion of healing is, right? That's what I found when I googled it. 2d4? I, I usually do a d8, oh. but... Uh, yeah, but uh, five, uh, my DM screen's right here. It's 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Yeah, for, for a regular. Do you want me to re-roll, or is that okay? Just go with that. Okay. Okay, Arlana, you hear the sounds that you heard previously. Kogo, you hear it clear as a bell as you're drinking your potion. Looks like the we have more company. The sounds of something eating. Can I tell what it what which ones it was? The ghoul you versus cannot, the dwager. You can you cannot tell that from uh just from the get-go you can tell though can... it is just you hear wet slurps gurgles and all of that going on it's right coming from the, right down the dark hallway just outside of most of y'all's vision uh arlana i think you can see part of something i don't think so not from where i am But you can hear it. Oh wait, down. yeah. Something, there's something behind a pillar. I can just see the edge of it. 
So. What are y'all choosing to do? Nothing seems to have noticed you yet. Approach all sneaky beaky like. Yeah, look at the others and I point down the hallway. Kogo's just gonna like pantomime eating, eating and be like, sneaky sneaky. I'm gonna scooch against the wall. And actually that brought it into where I can see it. So, can I shoot it from here? I try. Okay, uh, real quick, if you're moving a little bit closer, I need Kogo oh, no. and... I, I scooched to the wall, that's all I did. Yeah, I, I didn't think I meant move okay. forward, further, but I might have. I didn't mean to if I didn't. Like, I didn't move, I didn't mean to move forward any, I just meant to go against the wall. Okay, well, and then, yes, you can uh, get an attack. Avi, are you extinguishing your torch? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it up. And before Avi starts like slashing at me, oh my God, something touched my foot. Okay, you're firing off a bolt, or firing off an arrow. A fourteen. Fourteen hits. Are you going to take your second attack? Yeah, sorry, I was marking off my arrow. You're using just a regular arrow? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Ooh, 11 misses. Crap baskets. Okay, Arlana lets loose an arrow, or actually lets loose two. One just sails over the creature, the other one hits it right in the back here. And Arlana, I need you to make a stealth check real quick. Arlana, you try to hide, and the creature just looks directly at you. Roll on fucking that 20, son of a bitch. Like, I'm talking, it looks at you. It's like the descent. The creature's eyes just have that weird glow behind them as they latch onto you and look at you. And it goes... <laughs> and you start hearing, <laughs> you start hearing that kind of, like, heaving noise follow through from just multiple points of origin behind this one that you see. Uh, and, you even, uh, and you even hear what sounds like a couple of uh, like just uh, the noise that the ghouls make echoing as well. Who votes for throw fire and run? <laughs> Shit. All right, I can make so. that happen. I have fire, but we don't know what else might be back there. I don't know. Oh, my shit. Y'all give me just a second. I am looking at the map to see what all has been alerted. Oh, great. Oh, no. If we have just a second before we start this encounter, do you mind if we take like a quick bathroom break and stuff and then come right back? You can. Okay, I'll be right back.
Do, do, do. Oh, uh, Kogo will be happy. I misrolled damage on the bites, which the bites didn't hit anyway, though, did they? No, just the Okay, so I'm going to start moving some stuff. I really like the music I found for this. It's creepy. Yeah, it's very fitting. I won't lie. One of the things that popped up when I put it, I put in a uh, scary D and D music. It was dark gothic piano solo, and I swear it was the walking away scene at theme at the end of the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I started do, do, laughing. Do, do. Like, I could just see one of the zombies in this, like, walking backwards with its thumb out. I believe I will get myself a glass of water or other beverage. Let me, uh, if Lux gets back before I'm here, just tell her I ran for a second. I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyone else here? Yes, DM went run get something to drink. Yeah, I hadn't eaten yet and dinner just got finished, so I had to go make a sandwich real quick. In real life, Coco was hungry. Yeah, food is good. Food is very good. I like food.
Welcome back. Yeah, with the exception of Avi, who can see Avi at the moment, right? Pretty much. You know what? I'm going to do something that makes sense to me. And Avi dropped it. There, you should have a little bit of vision. Yeah, that's about that. That that is actually per the book. That is as that is actually congruent with what should be. Would I uh, believe what's in the book? Well, I mean, it like Good five I've foot, seen so people. You, yeah, you should be able to see roughly five feet, but not clearly. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much pitch black in there, but your eyes have adjusted to where. When you get close to something, you can still see a little bit. Not enough to really help you much, but... Oh, that's cool. I got something for that. Next thing we know, Avi. Solar flare. <laughs> no, no. Avi, Avi prefers Big Bang Attack. Not the spirit ball or the wolf fang fist. Uh, no, he actually wants to make it out of this encounter alive. Poor Yamcha. Let's face it, Yamcha gets what he deserves. Oh, my only thing, but it's like, who has a job? Yamcha. Who actually has a house and a car? Yamcha. Like, damn, he's not the greatest fighter out of all the Z fighters, but. Seems fairly responsible with some crap, and then eventually she's like, I ain't gonna be able to compete with this crap. I'm just gonna go back to the desert with my cat friend. You know, hey, well, you, what I find hilarious is, you know how um, when Team Four started- I'm back, sorry. Uh, they had uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged. Every time they had Yamja get, uh, get owned, they used the same animation, the, the same picture of Yamcha in the, in the uh, in the crater when the Cyberman kills him. Uh, like, Dragon Ball Super actually used the exact same image in Battle of the Gods when... Or, uh, not in Battle of the Gods, in the, in the baseball episode uh, when... The, when he uh, when like who, uh, I think Vegeta ended up powering up to to hit the ball and it hit Yamcha and exploded, and they used that crumpled in the fetal position oh, picture God. from way back in the day uh, for that. Uh, I which seen which that tells you. me, which tells me that Toriyama has seen Dragon Ball Z abridged. Indeed. Probably. Well, that's been a joke. That's, I think that's a joke even among the cast of Dragon Ball Z, because I think it was at a con recently, they actually had a big sticker on the floor where you could do the pose, and they would take pictures, and it was at the Funimation booth. <laughs> uh, it's the thing with the uh, new Dragon Ball Z game, Fighter Z. If Yam, like, there's a storyline or some element where Yamcha's involved, and if he beats somebody, they're in the crater in that pose. When he beats Nappa. <laughs> Like, I've seen one with Frieza in that position, too, and I'm like, I need more of this in my life, because this is funny. Like, even Yamcha's like, it doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, what I, what I love is the, uh, the, my favorite interaction from Fighter Z, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get back to it. Uh, my favorite interaction from Fighter Z has got to be bar none, except for the glorious amounts of shade that Piccolo throws on everybody throughout the entire game is uh, Gotenks and uh, and Nappa. When they start when they start, there's an interaction there's an interaction where they fuse and they're standing there as Gotenks and Nappa's just kind of looking at them and it, and it goes, all right, time to get time to go to work, time to go Super Saiyan. And he goes Super Saiyan, and he looks at Nappa and goes, okay, it's your turn. <laughs> and Nappa goes, uh, uh, I don't need to go Super Saiyan. I'm good enough on my own, and then takes off. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen that one. 
Have you seen how much shade cell throws, though? Oh. I just want to cosplay Android 21. No. Anyway. Okay, so Arlana, you try to hide. The one that you shot, like, just directly looks at you, and it's every nightmare whatsoever. Because if I understand right, dark vision is not in color. It's almost like you're looking through night vision goggles. Uh, correct, Avi? It, it is grayscale. So you basically see what most horror movies show when there's, like, a creature caught on night vision cam. Just eyes reflecting. Eyes. Just, it's like... It, None of the, the Dwagger stand up straight. Like, they almost move in an ape-like, like, quadrupedal movement. Sink me bloody sideways. And as it comes moving, you see another four and a ghoul. And you still hear more noises mm. down the hall. And they're coming in your direction. I need everybody, everybody to roll initiative. Let me get the turn order up. And remember, click. My bad. I was not clicked. This music is quite appropriate. All right, Avi, make sure you click yours. Thank you. Oh. Kogo, good thing none of the bites hit you because I would have uh I thought I'd rolled wrong wrong damage for you at first. Also, Avi, help me remember this. They're actually immune to poison. I have forgotten that. We will not retcon anything you've killed though. I'm sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Give me one sec. For some reason, I feel so unpopular considering I'm the only person who's not gotten a phone call this time. As far as the daggers go that that, that I picked up, are they just are they as far as the stats go? Are they just regular regular daggers that are silvered? They are just regular daggers that are silver. This music is just playing, and then when I look at my computer, it is the sax man from <laughs> Lost Boys. Yeah, just yes. yeah. Hey, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so the turn order is Arlana, Avi, Dwagers, Ghouls, Kogo. Okay, I think I really wish I'd gotten fire arrows now, god damn it. Uh 
I am going to go for the ghoul that is closest. Okay. A 22 will hit. Okay. Your second attack. Twelve will miss. Poot. What's the distance on your horde breaker? Huh? What is the distance on your horde breaker? Oh, I thought you said orc breaker. I thought you were talking to Koga. Each turn, when you make a weapon attack, you can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature within five feet. Okay, you do not have anything within five feet. The ones behind it are, are more than five feet away from it? It's five feet away from the original target. Oh, it's, that's ten feet. It's okay. ten feet. But remember, you still have your bonus action and your movement. Also, Kogo, since you are recording the stream, the music is still playing. It's just this section seems to be really low. I guess I attack it again with my bonus action. You can, but you will not have your proficiency bonus, so it should be a minus three. Nice. So, <sighs> yeah, you send another arrow flying off into the darkness. I should just hit something else by accident, damn it. You did, it was a wall. Yeah. The DM should not be a smartass right now. All right, are you going to move, or are you going to stay where you are? No, I'm going to st stay where I am. All right, Avi. Face it on. So, um, it just, uh, <clears throat> I uh, well, So, all I know is that Arvana shot, heard shit, shot down the hall, and something is coming. Yes. <clears throat> I am going to move up to Arvana. Okay. I am going to bonus action hide. Okay, make your stealth roll. You're just like ducking behind me. Poorly. Uh, yeah, the, literally walking up behind, uh, walking up behind you, and and going, Arlana, don't say anything. I'm going to hide right here behind you. <laughs> <laughs> and waving okay. his waving his arms around dramatically. Uh, I think y'all are now both targets. <laughs> Um, uh, and Avi is going to <sighs> crap. Avi's gonna pull his scimitar and hold his and hold an attack action until this until he sees something he can swing at. Okay. That is all that Avi can really do at this point. The 
first, Draugr is going to just, Hellbent is just running straight at y'all. These ones down at the bottom are going to double dash up. Jesus. Okay, the one that just ran at Joel. Uh, can you see it, Avi? Just barely. I definitely can. Yeah, it's too far. Okay, Arlana, it is the one you shot, like the arrow is sticking right out of its back. It's entire from the mouth all the way down to the groin area. It's just covered in wet, glistening blood from whatever it was eating. And it's going to take a bald fist and try to hit you. As a 20, 20. Art, is that against my AC? Yes. That, my AC is 19. Son of a bitch. Okay, four points of bludgeoning damage. It just literally, it balls its hand into a fist and just slams it on you like it's trying to beat on you. Do I just take away four from my hit points or how do I yeah, record that? Just four away from your hit points. Okay. Okay, it's gonna try to slam you with its other hand. <laughs> Does not hit. And, and miss. But it just swings another one. This thing just let me trying to beat on you like you were a Samsonite briefcase. That's oddly specific. I mean, it, it's literally, it, it's not even like trying to bite at you. It's just going. <laughs> as it interrupted just, its meal. Yeah, like, if you could speak its language. How dare you! I was gonna even leave a tip! Rudeness! Okay, I'm gonna move this token over slightly so that... Because there's a ghoul now on the ghoul's turn. The ghoul you shot, Arlana, is charging at you. That one I can hit. Is it attacking me? This one ghoul you shot with an arrow like it's sticking out of its chest is running up at you. Its jaw is distending and lengthening. Almost oh, fun! crocodilian shaped mouth and it's going to try to latch onto you. I should have uh, moved! Probably. You should have hidden like I did. You mean behind my butt? Yes. Okay, so Avi, you can actually hit that one. The this one. I moved the token slightly over so that I could actually move the ghoul up there without it being on oh, top of anything. Okay. Okay. Cool. Never mind. I thought that was the one. It, it, Downside, uh, downside to that dim light is that uh, the the Durgar token kind of looks like the ghoul token. Intentionally. At least I didn't put the twerk zombies out. Damn you. Okay, so the ghoul is going to try to bite Arlana. Okay, it doesn't get... Okay, and it's going to try to claw... Nope misses. It's just this big, huge mess. 
Narlana, as it's as it tries to snap at you, you can see down this thing's esophagus away. <laughs> like this is everything wrong and horrifying about some of the vampires in Blade. Like you're just like, oh my god. Yes. All right, Kogo, it is your turn. All right, Kogo's gonna run, or not run, but move here. And she's gonna try her new fancy short sword. Okay. That will hit. Roll another d6. So that two becomes four. Okay. You 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 didn't need to roll your second attack, Coco. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll say I didn't. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find the right logo that would work for this. There we go. Can she use her second? Coco. Go ahead. What ha before you try to do your second attack, mm -hmm. what happens is you slash with the short sword straight into the back of this uh, dwager, and as the sword connects, a bright light emanates from the blade. Avi, for a second, you can see about 20 feet down the hallway. You see about six Draugr and two ghouls running towards you. They stop momentarily as the flash of light hits. The Draugr right next to you, Arlana, right in front of you, Avi, bursts into ash. <laughs> and hits the ground as the sword still has the sword still has a glow. Like, it's not it's more like a glow stick glow than like an actual bright emanating like sting. There's orcs nearby glow. But you can, um, like, Avi, you can see the blade outside of your field of vision as this just pure white. Can you add the same effect to Kogo that you have on me? What effect? That being the, 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 the five foot dim, uh, dim light around. That being the case? Uh, I mean, if not, then that's cool. I, I, I can't do that because if I do that, you'll have all of Kogo's vision. Oh, okay. Okay. Kogo's just gonna kind of hold it up, look at the blade. I like this. And then jab at the ghoul. Or move and jab at the ghoul, because she's only moved a little bit. Okay, you can move and do your second... Go ahead and move and do your second attack. Do you want me to re-roll? Yes, re-roll. Ooh, that barely hits. That barely hits. See, that would be seven. You're using the monk weapons, so. It's, a, it's just a boost to my magical. hit, yeah. So it still keeps it as a magical weapon, right? So instead yeah, of doing yeah. regular slashing, it's magical slashing. Correct. So that's 12. Okay, you just literally slash right into it, Kogo. As the ghoul turns and it looks like it's gonna claw at you, you catch it, and the same thing happens. Like there's, you hit it, there's a slight flash of light. And, and we're going again. Ghoul, <laughs> and you're gonna use your bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Is that without, that's with the minus three from your no proficiency bonus? Uh, I'm proficient with sword, short swords and short monk Wait, weapons. you can, you can make a, wait, you can make an unarmed attack. Oh. As a bonus action. Okay, I'll do a regular hit then, and I would have actually had another plus two to hit, but the damage would have been different. I'll go ahead and just roll again. 
Okay, the 18 hits. Kogo just comes slashing and stabbing through and then spins around and clocks a Dwagger in the face, Arlana, is what you just see go down in front of you. It is now Arlana's turn. Well, oh, damn. I am... I'm going to shoot the dogger that is close to Kogo, and I'm going to shoot it with a lightning arrow. Okay, roll to hit. A 25 hits, do your damage. Okay, do your lightning damage. I killed it. You hit it, and it just hit, like Avi again. Like there's a brief flash, and like you even notice, you even notice the skeleton Avi slightly flash up, mostly obscured by a Kogo. Like it's almost like watching a thunderstorm happen at the moment. For you. Huh. Let's let let's 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 keep doing that. All right, yeah. Alana, you can still move. You have your second attack. Sorry, I'm gonna this this one that I'm measuring to. I'm gonna okay. do the same at that one. Okay. A twenty three hits, and it was a lightning arrow. Okay, and remember you do have your horde breaker. Uh, I think the one behind it might be too far. With your oh, longbow? it is not. Your, your longbow has some, like... It When longbow. the first time I measured, the first l number was in the dark. I thought it said 60. So I will go ahead and use my horde breaker to attack that goal. Okay. Roll another normal attack. Damn. Yeah, that one misses. Were you using <laughs> another lightning arrow? No, that was a regular arrow. Okay, are you going to move? Um. Yeah. I kind of have a good shot down the hallway, so I don't think so. Alright. Avi, it is your go. <clears throat> uh. 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 Ah! Oh! Cool oh. go. Uh. Uh. Dead. Yeah. Wow, this thing's that this thing's not. I'm gonna hit this thing. Okay, so you're gonna move forward and slash at yeah. that. Okay. Well, eh, crap. Um. Go go. You notice yeah. things that your party member does not. <laughs> And if I remember right, Kogo is fond of Avi. <laughs> oh, the, oh, oh, oh no! Oh, tr trust me, Avi, Avi has this well in hand. So is he just uh, trying was... to charge in right now? Avi has no. taken Avi has taken a five foot step ahead of you. Uh, Avi, there are a lot up there. Just don't go too far, please. Okay. No you, problem. Uh, you you might actually uh stand next to me so at least there's half a chance that they might hit me instead trust me please uh, yeah yeah cause I bet I'm just recounting uh, 5 10 15 20 25 
that pussy up. Put me back. Yeah. I'm going to go. Oh, God. You would still have sakes. You still have 10 feet of movement. If I me if I measured right, you should still have ten feet of movement after this. Mm -mm. Five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So from here, I'd only have five feet of movement left. Oh wait, that's uh, Lana that has thirty-five. That's our Lana. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Coco. I have 40. Yeah, monks have super monks. Uh, monks get to move super fast. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm actually I'm just gonna go there. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull across and pull a crossbow and take a shot at uh, this guy. Because yeah, I can't see him, it's a disadvantage. So, nope. No, nope, you, you you send the crossbow like you shoot it and it bounces, ricochets, and then hits the ground back right next to your foot. Like if it had been a quarter of an inch over, it would have gone into your foot. Yep. You would have had a pernassus. Anything else you wish to do with your turn, Avi? Uh <laughs> No, I, there's nothing. I really, there's really nothing else I can do. Okay. Okay, the dwarver. One's gonna come up on Avi. Ghouls going at Kogo. Dwarver at Kogo. I'm gonna move this one. Arlana shot off to the side next to the other dead ones for now, just so I have less confusion. We're hitting another zombie movie trope right now, The Swarm. Yep. Okay, so how this is going to go, two are going, two Dwager are going at Avi, one, two, three Dwager are going at Kogo, and two ghouls are going at Kogo. Well, oh my fucking god. Well, I just moved the ghouls already. They're not going to roll just yet, Kogo, okay? So let's start with Dwager against Avi. I should have taken another health potion. This is so bad. This can only end. There is no way this can, there's, this, there's no way that this can end well. All right, so uh, first two slam attacks coming at Avi. And roll 20 being slow. Nope. That one hits. I'll take that one. Four bludgeoning damage on you, Avi. Uh -huh. Second one's trying to uh, slam on you. Yes, and yes, I will uncanny dodge the second one. Okay. So that would be a total of five damage. Mm -hmm. Bludgeoning. Okay. Okay, looking at this again, it was three Dwager coming at Kogo. Okay. First slam attack. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Fourteen bludgeoning. Where the hell is Pernas 
justice that can make me re-roll shit. <laughs> or, you know, maybe with some healing abilities. He's out there like there's a halfling. You have swamp foot! You need to wrap this in this bandage and pomace and eat a lemon and okay. have a lolly. If you feel like bringing him in, you know, just for the sake of him being support and healing, I would have no problem with that. Just saying. Okay, so another ten bludgeoning. Okay. No bueno. Okay, it is the ghoul's turn. One is going to try to... I have cure wounds. I may be needing you to hit that for me. <laughs> okay. Slashing claw. Okay, party vote. Should the DM have a mulligan? Considering it so late in the game, yes? Yeah. That's on you, dude. Yay. Okay, you so... Do? Second attack hits. Yep. Sweet Jesus. Five slashing, four necrotic. Another set of claws coming at Kogo. Oh, thank God. That misses just wild slashing. So, all y'all notice is what you see, Arlana, is literally what looks like a wave of these undead creatures just pile onto Kogo. You just hear the <laughs> and just slashing and clawing and slamming. Avi, you're right next to this, and it's it's absolutely horrifying. Yeah. It is now Kogo's turn. And remember, as a bonus action, you can drink a healing potion. Yeah, she's first gonna uh, do the monk weapon attack at the one that she's already punched. The Dwagger. Dwagger. Uh, that hits. All right, and now uh, the ghoul in front of her. Okay. The 21 hits. And... There's just a bright burning slash across its chest. Okay, let me see. Hang on one second. Alright, she's going to bonus attack because she has no more potions. Okay, 19 hits. The, the ghoul in front of you does not look good. When you punch it, it looks like you uh you broke its jaw like its jaw is now hanging loose all right she's gonna go ahead and spend a key then and do a second bonus mo attack then their flurry of blows yeah 19 hits you smash its skull kogo with your fist yay It is now Arlana's turn. How does cure wounds work? Do I have to like touch her? You have to touch her. I'm it's not like far her. away, you... thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> you can move up and touch her. I'm gonna run up and just slam my hand against her back and uh, cast cure wounds. Okay, move your token. So Kogo gets back six hit points. Ooh, helpful. <laughs> As uh, bonus actions, can they hand me potions for me to drink? Or shove them in my mouth? Uh, 
it's an action to feed someone a potion, but it would be a bonus action to hand over a potion. Oh lord. Do I even have any? I don't have any in my inventory. I got it. Yeah, uh, Avi will have to do that because I don't think I even have any. Everybody, everybody should have had potions. I know Avi bought some. Oh, I do, I do. I have I, two potions of healing. I want to hand one to Cody. I got, I got. Don't worry about it. I have, I have a big one. I mean, at the very beginning of the game, I had two. And I I have a greater. One, so this is my second. I, ha I have a greater that I can pop. Okay. Myself. That will be much more helpful to her. And you're right after me, so... Um... I... This... Let's see... Can I attack this dogger right here? Yes, you'll have to use your sword, sword because... Right. The Dwagger right in front. There's a Dwagger right in front of Kogo that's dead, but there's one between her and Avi. Yeah, I want to attack the one between her and Avi. And I'm gonna attack it with. You'd have to use this. You use. Or you're not using your bonus action. I'm not handing Kogo a potion. Okay, so Cure Wounds is a action. You can use your bonus action to make this attack at a minus three. Okay. I'm going to go for it. Okay, yeah, that hits. Nice. Whoop! All right, and you just thrust through an obby. You literally, from the corner of your vision in the dark, you see Arlana slap Kogo basically on the butt. And then, and then thrust a sword straight into the the uh, the dwagger that had been basically pummeling you in the face. Uh, okay, so uh, I was gonna see that and go, nice. Wait. <laughs> Kogo, he's going to turn around and he's going to look down at the Durgar that are around that are around him. He's going to hand Kogo he's going to hand Kogo a greater healing potion which Yay. is 4d4 plus 4. Okay. Um and we need to finish this and burn these and, and burn these bodies. These are the ones that get back up. I know, but we gotta kill the ones that are still moving first. Thankfully a couple of them uh, are piles of ash though, so hopefully piles of ash don't get back up. Yeah, that would be four four of them are pretty much ash. Like the one that got electrocuted is a charred husk of a body that's not moving. The other one's Kogo kinda dusted or mushed their face. Good. Uh, Avi is gonna. Sw uh, th uh, this one is still alive, correct? Uh, both uh, the one directly in front of you and the one to your right are both alive. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swing at this guy for reasons. And remember uh, your sneak attack damage. <laughs> Though that would be the reasons, because I get it on him. I don't get it on him. That's a hit. Okay, they ignore the poison damage, but that does not yep. matter. 22. You slash its head off of its shoulders, Avi, just like the decapitator is back. Nice. As this is happening, you'll also hear. You hear from down the hallway. You hear a noise. Heavy footsteps running. Shit. Mm, that was stupid. Okay. And you see, oh. holding a torch, 
<laughs> Dr. Fernandez going, my friends, oh, 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 you seem Shut busy. Up. Shut up and heal Kogo. Boost me. He's just a, I'm, I'm really, really far. I can't. Shut up and kill. <laughs> Shut up and heal Kogo. First chance you get. He looks around. And he seems to be thinking for a second. I'm actually looking through Parnassus's spells. Please tell me he didn't end up building like mostly like attack. God, God no, no. And he just starts clapping his hand next to the torch, Kogo. Kogo, you got this. Kogo, you're great. Kogo, you got this. You are a rape. Kogo, you got this. Don't shit on the floor, because that's IBM. <sighs> Kogo's, like, going to start shaking with how angry and annoyed she is. She's got, like, an eye twitch going on right now. I am double checking, so yes, it is wisdom. Damn it, with his spells. Okay, so it'll be a d4 plus four. You get max healing, eight points from healing words. And if I remember correctly, healing words is a bonus action. Thank God. <laughs> Did Avi give you the healing potion? Yes, but I, I don't think I can take it, can I? Unless I can take a bonus action not on my turn. I'm just making sure we made sure that went through. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely prepared for it. I've already got it keyed in and ready to hit roll. <laughs> uh, you see him point his crossbow at the dwagger that is right next to you, Avi. But it, it does not fire a, a crossbow bolt. Oh, nice. And he hits. Now I can get sneak attack on it. Well, doesn't it have to be within <clears throat> melee? Uh, sneak attack. Sneak attack. Uh, sneak attack is. Uh, for for me, like on my next turn, I can have sneak attack on it. Sneak attack is a, a friendly, a, a friendly is adjacent, or uh, in a situation where you have advantage on the target. Okay, and that is the good doctor's movement, his attack and bonus action. It is now the Dwagger's turn. This one's gonna run into that space, but not leave Kogo's attacking space and is gonna try to hit Avi. Like literally climbs over the bodies that are piled on you, Kogo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got like a wall against me right now. Yeah, you just, you literally, like, you're, before you can try to punch it as it runs by you, it, like, literally climbs over the other ones in front of you to go after Avi. So, coming at Avi with slams again. Oh, wait, hold on a second. That was radiant damage. Yep. Just poof, ash right next to you, Avi. Like, <laughs> like, like you might have gotten a little bit in your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those trying, uh, trying to hit you with the slam. Uh, first one misses. Second one hits. Uncanny dodge. So three. Yep. Okay, so one, two. Dwarger trying to slam at you, Kogo. 
No nope. on both. Yes on both. Damn it. And these are the ones that hurt. But it's 1d6, a bit, so you take 9 bludgeoning. Oh, that's it? I thought that was the double roll. Okay. No, no, no. The the ghouls do 2d6 uh, when they bite. That's right. But another ghoul is going to climb over and move towards Abby. Like, literally, Abby, as this one just clocks you in the face, you see the nightmare that is a ghoul climbing over the mass that's on Kogo and this one coming at you. So, and you have a slight remembrance of getting bit earlier. But you see as the ghoul's jaws uh, just extend and it tries to bite at you. Damn it. 15? Is my AC. Okay, so not that bad. Nine piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You save. Yeah. And after it, as it bites you, it then tries to hit you with a claw, but misses. Nope. You rolled the d12. Oh. Well, we're going to keep that roll. So it goes to claw at you and misses. Okay, so. Two ghouls. Wait. No. One ghoul on Kogo. Because the other ghoul right. is dead. Because this. I got a whole bunch piled up dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard There's to see. There's a ghoul and a. There's, there's a ghoul and a dwagger on Avi. There is a ghoul and a dwagger, two dwagger on Kogo. Okay. So the ghoul is coming at you, Kogo. Trying to bite. Does not hit. That's a miss, and it's going to try to claw. Also does not hit, thank God. Apparently all these dead ones are in the way of everything else. Like that, they, 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 it's just now they've kind of clogged the clogged the hole. Like the breach has been plugged. It is now Kogo's turn. All right. Uh, even though they're technically a little south, can she reach like the dogger here? They're all right up on you, Kogo. Okay. Uh, but she's. It, it's just the tokens. I didn't want to. Let me go ahead and move the dead out of the way. Okay. Um, I genuinely can't remember. I don't think she's hit any of these before, correct? No, she has not hit any any of these before. Alright, she's going to go for the one that's like uh, this one a little more to the left. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and your radiant damage. You, you, like, cut off its pinky finger that turns to ash as it flips off the body. The 22 hits. All right, nine. Damn. Again, like, you, you clip off a piece. It's it's not looking good because it seems like this, the radiant damage you have done to it has been climbing up its body. Like, you see, like, what looks like nerves and veins getting ruined, but this thing's still going. <sighs> I didn't want to have to take the potion, but I think I'm going to have to take the potion. Alright. Uh, and I think that's all I've got. Okay, well, 13's not... Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's kind of horrible. That Not the worst you could have had. Eh, it's about kind of in the middle, to be honest. It's about right. average. 
are Lana, your go. Okay, I am going to make another stab at this one that I tried to stab earlier. Did oh, the, stab one you tri- the, the one you tried to stab earlier is dead. This is like a oh, new, new one. Oh, well, the one right there. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna stab it. Or try. That actually hits the dwogger. Yes. I don't think there is an... Oh, there we go. And there is now just a solid frozen dwogger right next, right in front of you, Avi. <laughs> like the one that punched you in the face is like reaching its hand back like it's going to attack you again. And literally you see it freeze solid. And that pose is <laughs> Arlana just like thrust the scimitar through. <laughs> Neat. That's how you fight while hiding behind someone. You still have your other attack, and you can reach the other Duragar on the other side of Kogo. Oh, okay. That's a hit. Yes. Okay, and you still have your bonus action and movement. Wait, and you have your horde breaker, or is that only for ranged? Um, let me check. Uh, you make a weapon attack. As long as I'm making an attack with the same weapon. But that other one standing in front of Kogo, isn't it? Can I get it around Kogo? Or can I step and stab it? We could say you step and thrust past. I mean, it would just be like you stabbed, rolled, stab, stab. Okay. So go ahead and move your token to right next to Kogo. This is just a mess of tokens. We're going to go with that. Okay. And make your attack roll. Did it hit? That did not hit. God damn it! Always my last friggin' attack! No, I'm, I'm not double, behind Kogo no more. I'm double checking. Uh, I'm double checking Horde Breaker at the moment. It is not a bonus action, so you would still have your bonus action. I can step back behind Kogo. That's a well. You still have movement. But if you were to move away now, two creatures would have attacks of opportunity on you because you'd be leaving their sphere of influence. So what can I do as a bonus action? Mm, you should have some options. You could make a, another attack modificency, but also you have several spells, I think. Oh yeah, there's that stuff. You need to remember what skills you have. I have Ensnaring Strike and Hail of Thorns. That would be something to do probably at the start of your turn. I'll put. And I guess I'll try another attack with the uh, negative three. Okay. Oh! Yeah, that, that'll, 
I'll do it. What are you attacking with that? The, uh, I wanted to attack the Dwarger again. Okay. So he's just frozen, right? I didn't kill him. Oh, no, the other one, you froze one, you attacked another one and did damage to it, and then you stabbed at the ghoul. Okay, I'm, your, your I'm stabbing the, se the, the second Dwarger I attack. Okay. Can I still move behind Kogo after that, or no? Uh, the ghoul would still have... Right, right, right. Never mind, never mind, never mind. But you freeze that Dwarger solid. Cool. All right, Avi. Mm -hmm. So, this guy... Wow. Yeah, for all your, uh, is, for all your damage. Is he, is, he's not, god damn, he's not next to Kogo. Shit. Nope. Damn it. All right. Uh, uh, ten, huh? Fifteen. One, two, six. Cause. One, two, six. One, huh? I'm confused. I'm looking at your poison scimitar, Avi. I mean, it's it, it, it's it rolled two d sixes separately instead of just doubling the. So it's you did fifteen damage, two d sixes plus your bonus. Because it shows five plus your dex okay, bonus of five. Okay, so this one needs to go away. What, the poison? That's the poison damage. Okay, that's where... Oh, where is this getting a 76 from? Because you critted. You got 28. Plus, and that's... The green means you critted. I understand so that, but... Uh... It just rolled... It rolled two dice for you for that. So that second D6 is your crit damage. Because the first roll, the 10, is you rolled a 5 plus your dex modifier of a 5. And, okay. So, you did 15 damage to it with your slash. That it It's weird how it does the crit damage on roll 20. Yeah, because it's, it's cause, uh, cause we always do, I'm to double check it, because we always do it, you just double the, you roll, you roll, you double the die rolls. Yeah, that's, it just rolled an so, extra die. Okay. It just rolled an extra damage die. Which in the in the grand scheme of things kind of shorts you on stuff. Some could short could short you on damage, but whatever. And right, that's friggin' fifteen twenty two. So I'll take it. So wait, fifteen. Huh. So that's five. Oh no, it's it's fifteen. Yeah, it's fifteen. Of, what makes it twenty two? No poison damage, but they're immune to poison. Yeah, they're immune to the... Okay, so they're immune to the poison. What are you doing after that, Avi, after your slash? Uh, is it still alive? Yes. Uh, bonus action disengage. woo 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 Zoidberg run. Oh, hooray for Zoidberg. Dr. Parnassus is going to then... Shout... Coco, do you still need more healing? Are you still sick? I guess I could use a little top off if you got one. <sighs> he then starts clapping again. I'm, I'm not going to sing the song because if I keep doing this, <laughs> uh, Zeta will then be forced to sing as this character and he may or may not actually try to kill the dm <laughs> so he, he sings a little song for you kogo it's not actually horrible you still don't like it because he did it but it's not actually horrible she still rolls her eyes and that's another six health and then he's going to burn his last fourth level spell slot And 
barely hits. Oh my god. Parnassus. He just poofs the ghoul that had been harrying Avi. He then yells, I'm getting close to tapped out friends. You might have to deal with the rest of them on your own. Okay, so we have one Dwager and one ghoul left. So Kogo, they're right up on, so. I'm good with that now. Mostly. Nope, nope. Dwager tries to hit. Ghoul tries to claw. Ghoul tries to bite. <laughs> Kogo go. At the Dwager. Ooh, hold on. I got something for this something for this yeah what do you have for this <laughs> times two plus that my savage attacks when I score a critical hit with a melee attack weapon I can roll one of the weapons die one additional time and add it to the damage so you need to roll one additional d6 oh yeah I forgot because okay, what thing. you rolled is a, okay. What you rolled is a one. On damage plus your four. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you rolled a one, so that's plus your dex mod. For six, you rolled a five on the additional damage die. So that makes eight damage from of magical slashing, and then you did six radiant to it. Not like the most stellar attack, but not absolutely horrible. Yeah. And it just poofs. Yay. She's just going to turn at the ghoul and grin and then slash at it. Okay, the 18 hits. Damn. Is it still standing? This one had not been hit yet. So you slash it, and there's just this nasty burn scar on its chest. And it's still like, oh, yeah. yeah, that that hits. Still standing? Yep. I'll use a key. Okay. Oh. Didn't mean to move still it. up. It doesn't look good. You just, like, gave it everything you had. Kogo, and it's still standing there snarling at you. Just, you're getting covered in black coagulated blood and the blood of whatever it was eating. Like, you're just getting, like, sprayed with nasty. Knew I should have taken my shirt off before I attempted this. Now it's all gross. It is now Arlana's go. Okay. So we got Dwarver that I froze on either so the one on the other side dead. Yeah, Kogo just poofed one. There's two like really all that's left is a bunch of scattered ash, one electrified one that's on the floor, and two frozen ones. Is that that ghoul still alive, isn't he? Yeah, and the, the live ghoul. I'm just saying like I know there's a lot of stuff on the map, but really the only thing y'all have are two frozen and electrified dwaggers and a ghoul. Okay, I am I'm gonna stab the ghoul, but I'm gonna look over my shoulder at Avi and say, Start cutting off heads. Nineteen hits. He's dead. He's dead. And it's frozen solid. So right in front of you, Kogo, are like three frozen, just undead creatures. Kogo smash. Can Kogo just go around and punch each of them in the face? 
Yes, you you smash them without much effort. You just when you hit them, they either fall over and shatter, or you break off parts of them. The one that was electrified is not moving, and then everything else in here is pretty much just scattered ash on the floor. Sweet. So there are no more bodies left. There are no more bodies left. Good. Per Parnassus is going to run up. Does anyone need healing? Yes. Okay, he is going to then cast Cure Wounds. He does have a third level slot, so he's going to cast Cure Wounds at a third level. Wait. Let me make sure I'm doing this right, because Chris did not. Uh, crap, well, Chris, or he will have. Zeta will have advantage next game he actually is able to make. So he is going to roll three D eight to cure you. Awesome sauce. <laughs> For a total of twelve. I'll, I'll take it. He's just gonna go. <laughs> uh, Anyone else need healing? Because I'd much rather leave this place. It's horrible. Couldn't hurt me. Like, couldn't hurt you as in you need it, or couldn't hurt you like you weren't hit? I was hit, just not as much as everybody else. I'd rather be at my peak health. So was the 12 yes. for everybody? No, that was the 12 for... That was for Avi. For Avi, he did cure wounds. Okay. He does not have mass cure wounds or mass oh, okay. uh, prepared. Uh, I don't know what other spells he might have. I mean, I can do uh, cure wounds on myself, so I guess I don't need masses or mine. Who are you curing? Me. It was, well, I will get back to my clients um, that are back out there with the halflings. I just came to see how you were, and wow. I, Charlie did not tell me about this. He then hands you, Avi, four lollipops and a bag of something. These are for Coco. The halfling said to give them to her. And then he buggers off. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna light another torch. Actually, Parnassus gives you the one he was using. So That'll you do work. Have to. That'll work too. He just states, my vision is quite good. I've been eating a lot of carrots. That's a myth. Wow. That's a, this is a, that's a lot of bitches. <laughs> but there, there's I, a good there's a good three inches of ash on the ground. Okay, Arlana, when you step up there, both coffins that you can see immediately are open. You can tell ghouls had come out of them. You also make a perception check real quick. You notice that there is an iron banded box that looks like it has been drug into the room on your left. This one? Yes. You notice that there's an iron banded box that looks like it had been drug in there. Found something different. I'm going to inspect the box.
I need to roll perception or? Yes, you need to roll perception. Damn. It, it is locked. Avi! Avi, we need your tools. Come help. All right, I'm going to check in for traps myself. No traps, but it is locked. Cool. And yes. You're able to pick the lock fairly easy. I mean, it's, this seems like as you're working on it, it seems like strong boxes that you've picked into before. Yeah. Huh. You were reminded of one time with your uncle, how you got into a uh, lockbox that fell off of a caravan yeah. that was heading by your village. Yeah, he, uh, he, uh, he showed, uh, uh, my uncle Terrence showed me a very, very, uh, a very unique way of getting in, of getting into box, of actually opening locked boxes. Um, you... You pick the box up and you hit it on a rock, really, really hard on the hinges. Like this, I feel like Avi's thieves tools aren't actually lock picks. It's just like a series of different shaped rocks. There is in fact a there is in fact a, a like a uh, a pestle kind of a, like a pestle a fat pestle shaped rock in his toolkit. <laughs> inside you find that there is just in all this all the change that is within there the equivalent of about a thousand gold well okay well <laughs> Abby is going to start taking uh, taking this gold and, and and putting it into his pack uh, well, it's a shame that this thing was empty. An emptiness to be divvied up at a later time. Exactly. <laughs> we may be able. We may be. We may be. You know, with this, we should. We may be able to afford another arbalist for the ship. Oh man. Okay, so we got a strong box with a thousand gold in it. Two empty sarcophagi. Uh, notes, notes, notes. Swing arm notes. Uh, lossy loot. Uh. Okay, for sake of brevity, as y'all search through, because I assume y'all are going to look at all the other sarcophagi. Yes. The rest of them are empty and have been opened. Like, you're fairly sure all those ghouls that you just dealt with were probably were probably inside of them. All right, Arlana, if you're moving that far, I'm going to need you to make a perception check. I just started wondering. Yeah, apparently, Arlana got the ADD ooh shiny. Oh, bad. Arlana, oh, you are fine. just, you, you caught Kogo's, like, loot fever. And you're, you're so upset that the red, all the sarcophagi in there were apparently just full of dead a-holes that were trying to kill you. Like, you don't even notice, you don't even notice the mess of dead goblins and halfling that were lying strewn and mostly eaten. on the ground. Uh, Avi and Kogo, now that y'all are there, I need y'all to make perception checks. <laughs> Everybody just has <laughs> boxes, full of a boxes full of assholes trying to kill us. Uh, the, the, like Avi, do Avi doesn't, uh, Avi doesn't see Arlana. <laughs> Like, there is a hole? Do I see the hole? Uh, 
Like, ooh, what's this way? You notice as you're running through Arlana that it does open back up, but you don't hear anything and you're not noticing anything unusual. Uh, let's see, Kogo, make, let's see, Arlana and Kogo, both of y'all make another perception check. Finally. Kogo, you notice a sarcophagus that is closed. Arlana, you noticed in a room across the hallway there was a sarcophagi that was still closed. We have closed ones up here. Over here, too. Can Kogo like the big room or the one that's tucked into that little alcove? Alcove. Oh, that. That's the one that you noticed. Can Kogo like prep an attack before she opens it? You you could at this point you might have a fist back, but you would have to make a strength check to see if you could push it off with one hand. I'll do that. Okay. Kogo, you push and you strain a little bit, and it does slide off. Make a dex save for me. Kogo, Kogo pick the wrong one. I know, okay. I already picked the wrong one. <laughs> Kogo, as you push it open, and you're already preemptively sending a fist flying into this, just a ton of black flies come flying straight at you. Oh god. I don't want this. But you did save, so you take half damage. So you take six piercing damage as you realize they're not flies. Those are actually some type of fucked up magic bee. Why are there bees in a coffin in a grave what the hell? The only thing that would be worse is if there was a bear trap in it that sprung out at you. <laughs> Fuck. And it, other than that, it's empty. Just like, and the bees fly. Like, y'all hear a buzzing from the other room. And that goes off down the hallway and out towards the tunnel. Kogo? Kogo's just gonna, like, come out of the room. She's gonna have a few, like, swallow marks on her. Kogo found stingy bugs. Are you okay? Kogo got stingy bugged. <laughs> they sting. Okay, I'm your perception check. You know, what's it, it, you know, it, you it, know what'll it, help that, Kogo? Lemon sake. Kogo takes a sip of lemon sake. So can Kogo prep both her fists for when he opens this one? Since she's not yes. pushing. Okay, I cool. actually imagine Kogo would have her hands up like open palm, like she's gonna just start slapping <laughs> them down. That works. Okay. Uh Avi, you're twenty five. This is not trapped. Uh it is I lost you there. Uh it's not trapped. Okay. The strength check to open. Yes. You slide it off. There is a well dressed uh, elven woman's remains that are preserved. And in her hands, she is clutching a bottle that has something written on it in elvish. I read it. It says. Golem in a bottle. <laughs> Golem in a bottle. Does that mean anything to me? Golem in a bottle. So that's a no? That That's all it says. Unless you I know, it. but does that mean anything to Arlana? No, it, it's, you, you just, the bottle says there's a golem in it. Okay, I lean over and I read the bottle. Golem in a bottle. Huh. Huh. So it's either some terrible magic where golems in the bottle, or it's alcohol. Knowing elves, it could be either. Hmm. Well, also, Alana, looking at it, you can tell this was a high elven woman. So in your head, you just hear, 
Gollum in a bottle. She's fancy herself, so. Hmm. Well, can't hurt to take it with us and see if there's anything for it. Yeah. Kogo, was there any? In there, was there anything in the one that you did? Bugs. Stingy, stingy bugs. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. What'd you say, Arlana? I said, I'm gonna, Arlana's gonna kind of try not to kind of laugh and reach in and get the bottle out. Okay, so add Golem in a bottle to your uh, inventory, Arlana. Uh, is there anything else y'all want to do at this moment? Well, we could go further down. Coco wouldn't mind resting. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, I am good. I mean, you and can probably the, take a short is, risk. Is that space below is just empty? Uh, the space below you looks like a continuation of the chamber, but uh, if Kogo wanted to take a short rest, y'all could probably wait a half hour to an hour before continuing since she's clawed and stingy bug. Yeah, that works. Yeah. And out of and character, Kogo, I'm pretty much at my limit for how late yeah, I can we, and we can, Yeah, we can, uh, if Kogo wants to roll hit dice to see how much health she recovers. I will as well. How do I roll that again for half rest? Uh, you can use, isn't it, as many as many of your die? You want. So you could roll up to five uh, d tens per month, or is it d eights? Uh, give me two seconds, and I will tell you. I um, think it's d eight. I think it is. I think it is as well. I am on the page. D eights, yes. I need to break down and buy the book instead of just relying on the PDF. Amazon, brother. I am the eighth as well. Uh, right. huh. Huh. What are we rolling? They're rolling hit die to recover HP as they're taking a short rest. Oh. I'm I good. Kogo learned the negative effects of being the meat shield. <laughs> One, two, yeah, being the meat shield means four. you get hit. And when you're starting out nearly 20 lower than your max HP, it's not a good starting point for a battle. It is not. All right. Cool. I'm topped. All right. All Are right. we about ready to end the stream then? And I, I think that is where we will end this week's session, Dr. Parnassus is going to be mad at me because I believe I expended most of his spell slots. <laughs> Hopefully he'll have a chance to rest before he comes back in, but yeah. Okay, well, thank you everybody for watching and hanging out for the stream. Uh, I appreciate uh, thank it. Thank you. And by you for everybody, watching. I'm 90% sure I mean Hendrix, but you know. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say before I close it? Happy ta happy Sunday. <laughs> Don't let you meet Loaf. Ha ha ha. All right, night y'all. Night. night. night.